And welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. And we head to Qatar where South Korea booked their spot in the knockout round of the FIFA World Cup in dramatic circumstances. Following a stunning 2-1 win over Group H winners of Portugal a short while ago, the Koreans went behind in the fifth minute, but they leveled the contest in the 27th through Kim Jong-un and found the winner in second half stoppage time through Hee Chan Hwang. South Korea made the progress on goal difference and sent two-time winners Uruguay packing from the tournament despite their 2-0 win over Ghana. Meanwhile, at 2 p.m., five-time champions Brazil can confirm their place as Group G winners when they take on Cameroon, who can still make progress with a win and a narrow win for Serbia over Switzerland in the other group match. By locally, the champions of the 2022 Issa Urban Area Manning Cup competition will be decided this evening when many-time champions Jamaica College battles in Andrew Technical at Sabina Park. JC said coach Davian Ferguson is expecting a tough test from the 1987 champions who they have faced in the final three times in the last five years. We want to maintain our undefeated tag. Um, we have been undefeated all season. Um, so we really wanted to maintain that. Nastasis coach Philip Williams says his team is aware of JC's threat, but he's urging them to focus on playing their best match against their more fancied opponents. Taking your chances when you do get your moments. JC is a very good team, a very, very deep team in terms of talent pool. So they can go either way with what they do. It is what we do when we have our opportunities that is important and that is what we need to focus on. Indeed. And the East Urban Area Walker Cup knockout champions will be crowned uh, prior to the start of uh, today's Manning Cup final in the curtain racer at Sabina Park. Five-time champions at Tivoli Gardens will face a first-time finalist Haile Selassie in the final which kicks off at 4 p.m. A win for Tivoli would, would be their first since 2005. Haile Selassie made the history qualifying for their first ever Walker Cup final, which is also their first ever schoolboy football final in any format. Some cricket news now. Australia were in full control of the first test against the West Indies at Stumps on day three in Perth. Now resuming on 74 without loss in their first innings reply, the West Indies were eventually dismissed for 283. Captain Craig Brathwaite top scored with 64 after resuming on his overnight 18, while Tejan Ryan Shandapal uh, carried on to 51 from his overnight 47. Vice Captain Jamaica's Jermaine Blackwood also made 36, and concussion substitute Shamar Brooks 33. Now Brooks replaced another Jamaican and Kuma Bonner, who had retired hurt on 16. Mitchell Stark took three for 51, and Captain Pat Cummins at three for 34 for uh, for the Aussies. Now the Aussies then reached a 29 without loss in their second innings at Stumps. They lead by 344 runs. David Warner was 18 not out, and with him at the close was first innings centurion Marnus Labuschagne on three. Usman Kawaja is the man out for five. So scores in the match: Australia 598 for four declared, and at 27 for one, the West Indies a 200 and 83. And that's where we pull up stumps for now. And I am Jeremy Brown. Oshane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the midday news. I'm Oshane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.